Hey, welcome back to another game spotlight. And boy, do I have a treat for us today. <laughs> this one was actually brought to my attention by a viewer's comment. It's called Gray Skies, and it's another War of the Worlds inspired game. So I figured, hey, let's take a peep. So come on, let's get into it. In waiting for Flip Switch to release their War of the Worlds game, I figured I would get my alien fix in and check this one out. You know, do some journalistic work and try to have some fun along the way. <laughs> oh, and boy, I did. This game was made by a company called Steel Arts Software, and this is their only game on Steam. It has 80 mixed reviews. And from just the trailers, I could kind of tell I was getting myself into something maybe not that great. Luckily, it's only a few dollars though, so you know, what's the harm? Although I kind of wish I just noticed this free demo before I did this. If we go to their website, we can see they actually have three games. They have Darker Skies, Welcome to Hanwell, and Grey Skies. This is the game I played. The game is a tense third person based thriller set in rural England. Grey Skies inspired by H.G. Wells, The War of the Worlds puts you in control of Harper, following her personal story amidst the most significant event in history. Oh my god, I wish the game felt like that. Welcome to Hanwell was released in 2019. Hanwell was once a safe haven from horrors of the world, now a cesspit of anomalous scum. That's all I'm gonna read. I'm gonna leave you with that. Imagine what that game is about. And here we have Darker Skies, which is a continuation of the Grey Skies theme, except now you are in control of a man named Jack, a survivor of the War of the Worlds, trying to rebuild a working heat ray to blow his way to freedom and light a spark that will rebuild civilization. Those other two games, as I said, are not on Steam, but if you really want to check out Darker Skies, it's on Xbox for $18. Wowza. I feel like you should have a little bit more of a successful first game Never mind. So this is our website. It's nice looking. I don't think this website is really that active anymore. If we go to their blog, they don't even have any posts in their blog and they're stay tuned coming soon. Yeah, my butt. And they also interestingly provide porting services. If we go to their Facebook, they do post often or at least recently. They're trying to promote Darker Skies. This was June 25th. You guys have any other games in the works? Like Yes, no, maybe. Never let them know your next move, right? Okay, so you know, I, I, I was really hopeful for this game that it would be interesting. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I was hopeful. I could tell this was kind of janky, but man, did this game feel so empty. There, there was really nothing to like get me invested in this game. The whole game felt like a tutorial. I actually realized what perfectly summed up this game in this clip here. This is such a mobile game. I've realized this is a mobile game for PC. So it seems like they're still trying to run with this theme of War of the Worlds, and I gotta say, maybe guys switch gears. I'm not trying to be mean, this is just me being honest. These guys do one thing well, and that's visuals. Well, <laughs> for the most part. Wait, what? So this was actually the first game that I could not actually finish. I went in hoping for aliens and I got electrified zombie people. Let me show you this. This is, this is what I got. It's so bizarre. Everything feels so liminal because you're the only person in this whole world. Everyone is just gone. Everyone's gone. And there's just these electrified zombie people. So yeah, I don't want to keep you too long because this isn't exactly a game I'm praising, but these game spotlights are simply just that. Me highlighting something I've found, giving my honest opinion, and showing you some gameplay. It's basically, I play so you don't have to, or I show you something interesting that maybe you do want to play. If you you want to suffer with me, I would greatly appreciate you checking out this video of the gameplay that I did edit and put together. Or unless you just enjoy watching me suffer, which that's fine too. Let me know. Actually, keep it to yourself. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I know this is a short one and uh, I'll see you in the next one.